there guys and guyesses, welcome back to my channel The Tarative and thank you for stopping by. As you'll be able to tell from the title of this video, this video is going to be all about teeth. More accurately, it's going to be me answering the question what happened to my teeth or what is wrong with my teeth. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've noticed a few questions about my teeth in the comment section spread over a few of my videos recently and when I was doing more tongue stretching videos I did also notice a few more comments about my teeth then. So people have been asking quite politely in most instances, no offence but why is one tooth a lot smaller than the other? I've had that a few times. Someone did ask me just the other day, what is wrong with my teeth? So I don't mind questions like that whatsoever. I don't take offense. I don't think it's rude whatsoever. Curiosity is definitely a good thing. Questions are good because it means then I can answer them for you. And then when on my tongue stretching videos, I've noticed a few, not rude comments, but a few more sort of blunt comments where people are saying you've got tooth decay or you've got a whole new tooth, you've got a black tooth, etc, etc. So I'm just going to start off by showing you guys my teeth and then I'll explain a little bit about what's different about them or what's wrong with them. Sorry, I'm very bad at pulling a toothy smiley grin because I don't usually smile showing my teeth. I'm just going to get in a bit more comfortable position. So I'm on a bed in my mother's bedroom because... I can't find my tripod, I think it's in my grand's car and she has gone to town so this is the only position that I can really get for filming. So the first thing you'll be able to see is this tooth right here, so this is an incisor, all of these four are incisors and this is a lot smaller than the other incisor on the other side. So a lot of people were asking about why is this one a lot smaller and then can you see there's a little bit of a gap here? Now, in some of the tongue stretching videos, it looks black. It looks like a black cavity, but actually it's just a shadow. And the reason why there's a bit more of a shadow there is because this tooth is actually a fake tooth. And so I don't actually have a tooth here. This is a fake tooth attached to a palate that is removable. It just sits on the top of my mouth. So it's basically a partial denture. And because it doesn't sit completely flush with the gum, it just creates a little bit of a shadow right here, which to be fair, when you smile like that, it doesn't look too different from the others, but from the front, it does look a little bit bigger. So that's another observation that people have been pointing out. And I think a few people realized that this maybe was a fake tooth as well. So I'll just explain about this tooth first and what happened with it or why it is the way it is, why I've got a partial denture there and things that could be fixed or things that I could have done about it, but haven't. And then I'll also do the same for this tooth right there. So with this, with the fake tooth, basically what happened is when, when you're children, you have baby teeth that have grown in from when you're a baby into a few years old, etc, etc. And eventually those teeth fall out and you get, they get replaced with adult teeth, which should last you the rest of your life. So really, you only really have two sets of teeth your entire, entire life. And I've now got all my adult teeth. So basically when I was younger and had my baby teeth, as it were, as I can remember, they were all normal, they were all fine, they were all there, but where the incisor baby tooth was here, when that fell out, rather than it being replaced with an adult incisor, which is what you would expect, it was actually replaced with an adult canine tooth, which is not meant to happen. So your canine should grow here where it is right now, but this is where the incisor was, the baby tooth fell out and the adult canine grew through here. Now I did have x-rays on my teeth just to have a little look at my gums and later on I did also have braces as well to help with the problems with my teeth but the x-ray showed that actually in the gum above my baby canine there wasn't a tooth there. Where the gap was should have been the adult canine and then there should have been an adult canine, sorry an adult incisor right here. So basically the adult incisor wasn't where it was meant to be, there wasn't one whatsoever, and the adult canine was actually one position before it was meant to be. So when the adult canine, or sorry, the baby canine had fallen out, I'm gonna get so confused between my baby and adult, so I do, <laughs> excuse me, but basically when the baby canine fell out, there was nothing to replace it. And in fact, it was actually removed to help speed up the process of getting braces because there wasn't an adult tooth above the gum, there was nothing for the baby tooth to be forced out by, if that makes sense. So when I had braces, when you have braces, most people I'm sure know that the bit that sticks onto the teeth is usually sits in the center so there'd be a little bracket here a little bracket there and between those two brackets they put a spring or a coil and over time they made it a longer spring a more heavy spring and so it pushed the adult canine from the position where it wasn't meant to be into its rightful position so in fact this adult canine did grow through in this position and you can see there's no damage to the tooth whatsoever the braces worked amazingly they did really really well but when the braces were removed that then did leave a gap 
in this position right here. So once the, actually on the day my braces were removed, I remember them doing a mold, a cast of my teeth, and so they could create a fake tooth for me and the fake tooth as I said is attached to a partial denture it's effectively a partial denture and it's got a palette on the roof of my mouth you'll be able to hear if I tap against the roof of my mouth then it sounds a bit weird that's because it's some type of plastic or polymer I'm not entirely sure what it's made out of but that just sits there and is attached to the tooth which keeps it in place now my options were for more permanent things I could get a fixed tooth in place if I wanted to now at the time I was 16 and at that time the price for this and I remember my dentist saying that he wasn't actually fully trained on doing the proper fixed in teeth he was actually training on it and I could have been his case study for his final exam and it would have cost me £1,100 £1,100 for a single tooth just to be fixed in place when I have this palette right here I was like mm. I did admittedly think about it for quite a while because at that point it definitely bothered me a little bit more than it does right now however I just thought no I, I just couldn't spend that amount of money for the sake of one single tooth when actually this partial denture works absolutely fine if I I did have that kind of money just free in the future and I didn't have anything else to spend it on and you know it's just really valuable to me then yes I would love to do it it would be great to have a permanent tooth there however how it is is absolutely fine it really doesn't bother me whatsoever now I'll just explain what the permanent tooth is for those of you who don't know basically what they do is they drill into the gum and into the bone they put almost like a screw I don't know the other, another term for it but effectively a screw into the bone above the gum and then you have to wait a few months basically the bone regrows and hardens around the screw to fix it in place and then they make up a fake tooth that will attach to the screw or screw into the screw part if that makes sense I'm probably confusing you guys ridiculously so I do apologize for my terminology because I'm not a dentist I'm trying but it might not explain I might not be explaining it very well so yeah I basically have just left it how it is and that is fine Moving on to the explanation of my small incisor, and I just want to apologise if there was a little bit of a rubbish transition between this clip and the previous one. My brother interrupted me filming to show me what his suit looks like for Dan and mine's wedding, which is now not very long away whatsoever, and that also explains why I'm wearing a little bit of a different makeup look today. I don't know if you guys will have noticed, but I am in fact wearing eyeshadow. I bought an eyeshadow palette a couple of weeks ago as I do want to have eyeshadow on for my wedding. I don't do eyeshadow ever so I thought I better buy a palette and I better start practicing. The first ever eyeshadow look I created is actually on my Instagram page which is at the Tara Tip. So if you're interested in seeing what my first ever attempt looked like then go and follow me on there. And if you liked it then please like the photo and that would be fantastic. But this is my second ever attempt, which I think I've done rather well. I won't be wearing this one for my wedding as it has got a bit more gold tones in and I wanted to do something a little bit more silvery, but I think I did rather well for my second attempt ever. Anyways, let's get back onto talking about teeth. So yes, talking about this small incisor, it is a much shorter explanation than the previous one, Basically, when my baby incisor fell out, the adult incisor that replaced it was this tooth right here. So it was never bigger, it just grew in small, it's always been like that. I haven't damaged it whatsoever, it's just always been like that. And it should really be the width to fill out the gap there, but as you can see, it's not. Now my grand does actually have a small incisor very, very similar to this, my mother does not. So I think I just inherited a faulty gene from my grand, clearly skipped a generation and I got it, lucky me. But again, it really doesn't matter, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. But yes, it's always been small. Now, after I had my braces removed, the orthodontist slash dentist gave me one of two options for it if I wanted to do something about it, and that was either to get a veneer fitted or a crown. They're, they're slightly different. A veneer, you'll probably recognise the term as loads of celebrities do get their teeth veneered, and that is when, rather than having the whole tooth encased, you just have something that's put on, fixed on the front of the teeth. Now, the bad thing about that is, because it's only fixed onto the front, they do tend to come off a little bit more than the alternative option, which is a crown. Now the reason why crown wasn't necessarily the best option for me and they thought they could get, give either one a go but the reason why I didn't really choose either one is because it wasn't necessarily a permanent solution, it wouldn't necessarily work, is because this is such a small teeth the crown encases the whole tooth but it needs quite a strong sturdy tooth to grip onto because the crown is quite heavy and the dentist slash orthodontist wasn't sure because this is a small tooth if it would really be able to support the crown enough or not. 
Now, the main tooth that I would have wanted fixed anyways would have been this tooth right here. And because I didn't want to spend the money and because I had the palace, I didn't want to do anything with it. Having a small tooth is definitely better than having no tooth. And actually, I think my teeth are perfect because they do the main thing that teeth are meant to do, the main function, and that is to be able to chew and tear and bite down food so you can eat and swallow. So in my eyes, my teeth are perfect because they do the function that they're meant to do. They're not meant to look pretty, they're meant to allow you to be able to eat food and chew food and digest food. So that's what they're there for. Now I do hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I have come to the end of it. That effectively explains everything about my teeth. Sorry of those of you who have probably bored and a bit confused along the way, but those of you who have stuck around, please give me a thumbs up to let me know you enjoyed watching this video. If you do have any questions, tooth related or not, then please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to have a little look and answer them for you. And hopefully guys, I shall see you very, very soon. Bye for now.